that it could happen in America. That it could happen now. That it could ever happen to me. Jack Whittier is my name. Maybe you remember my byline. I was the youngest member of the Washington Press Corps, its fastest rising star, one of the best and brightest, as we used to say. Before so much blood passed under those pretty Potomac bridges, having an affair with the president's daughter and I wanted out. Without hurting her feelings or frankly my career. So I had my paper reassign me to our bureau in Budapest. Somehow the president heard I was banished for being too pro-administration. And he offered me a job which I couldn't refuse. Which is where the terrible events that were to destroy my career and my life begin. Boy, it's silver. I found it in a little shop. I didn't think there were such things left. What's it for? You mean you don't know? Honest to God, Giselle, I'll have you in Washington within six weeks. I'll get you a visa. I'll get you a job. I don't want a job. A job with who? The FBI? Stop it, Giselle. Now, will you come on? You're trying to get somebody killed? You ran me right into the tree. What are you doing right standing here right in the middle of the road? Will you say something? What's the matter? Can't you speak English? Giselle, uh, will you get back in the car? I gotta make it to the airport. I'm sorry, sir. I just, I lost my temper. But my car won't start, and I have to catch a plane. It's very important. Do you know, is there a gas station around or someone that could help me? Hey. It won't start. Hey, mister! I really need help! How do you say help? Check each! Come on. Check each! Now, please, the only reason I'm asking you is because my car crashed because of him. Now, could you just give me a little help, please? I'm dying to hear this one. This is the one, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We can't leave, God damn it! I told you my car was stuck. I'm smart. You missed I'm stuck over there by the car. Be careful, look at it. Listen. And it's because of him, it's all his fault. He ran me off the road. What are you afraid of? You don't have to go anywhere. I've been sixteen hundred million dollars worth of aid every year. No. So what are you looking at? Will you quit looking at yourself? Thank you. That's why they suck. Well, that's a good one. I was religious. I swear to prayer right now. Yes. 
got to be a house down that road where I can get a phone. Just wait for me here, Giselle. Leave the headlights on, OK? I can walk. No, not tonight. Come in. Do you know what time? The, 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 the departure schedule of the train? Uh, uh, the moon. Moon. Just come so in. The... Oh, not tonight. Come oh, thank in. Thank you very much. I'm in a hurry. Just come in. Oh. What are you afraid of? So it must have been a wolf. We could find no corpse. Oh, come on. I killed a man, and I killed him with this thing. You said it was an accident, my it boy. It was an accident. But are you going to just take my word for it? Aren't you going to detain me? The inspector has offered us his car and the driver. What's going on here? This country is crawling with bureaucrats. Where are they? Why aren't they here questioning us? Jack, they are willing to let go us. Let go. What are you trying to cover up? Is the White House behind us? The what house? The White House. Take it easy. You don't I... even know what are you saying. Espirito, not easy. What'd she say? She says you are feverish because of the war. I'm afraid I must ask you to leave the area at once. I tell you again, no one has been reported missing. No corpse has been found. If you continue to make a nuisance of yourself, I shall have you lock it up. How come do you speak English? Huh? That was your son that I killed, wasn't it? Ne, the Yes, that was your son. And you don't even care that I killed him? Let him squat. Then litos. She said you didn't kill him. You released him. He needed to die. Long to rest. Because of the communists? Secret police? The Dalits. The Pentagon. 
because of the sign of the pentagram. Oh, the pentagram is behind all of this. The pentagram, the mark of the beast. Beast. Oh, that's just a bunch of insanity. Whoever is beaten by a werewolf and lives becomes a werewolf himself. Oh, bull. Find out who she's working for. The Sadango should come to this. The wolf beat you, didn't he? Yes, damn it. Wear this charm over your heart always. And remember, a werewolf can only be killed with a silver bullet or a stick with a silver handle. Heaven help you, my son. President wants to see you. He's in my bedroom. We work for everything we had. Emmett, you know that we had a deed from the King of England for our property in Maryland. And now, a lot of these jerks want to come and they want to give it to the communists. Just give it. Isn't that right, Maurice? I mean, you agree with me, don't you, Annie? Well, Lon, aren't you going to do something about it? We're going to change the Constitution. Oh, thank heaven. Yeah. Well, I meant to say, you should rewrite it. And I think I have a few points I put to it. I don't know where that man came from. You know, Maryland is my home state. Good to see you, Jack. Mr. President. You're looking fine, just fine. Uh, settle it any way you want, but uh, just make sure it doesn't fall back on my lap or the Attorney General's. How's your flight, Jack? I mean, I think Washington is going to be quite a come down in many ways. I'm going to have to sell my stock. What you? Now, even though you're my press aide, your job will deal mainly with the Justice Department. Attorney General is just too honest for his own good. Need to uh, help restore his image with the press. And also deal with the um, Capri nomination. Especially the Capri nomination. Have you uh, met Mrs. Capri? Doesn't matter. If Elliot loses the nomination, we'll just be mighty happy to stay home and make money, won't we? <laughs> no, sir. Uh, She's going to be a problem. How do you tell a man to dump his wife for the good of his country? <laughs> well, anyway, I uh, want to restore some balance on the court. I mean, if there's a, a southerner, we could give them a sense of belonging down there. God damn it, you know what I mean, Jack. I think I do, sir, yes. Well, that's all the speech I have for now. We'll talk some more later. Have you uh, seen Marion yet? <laughs> I don't understand you, young people. See, uh, she's seeing a nice young man nowadays. You should get to know him. He's a psychiatrist, a 
naval psychiatrist. I think you'd like him. And Senator Bond does not represent the people of Maryland. Hello there, Mr. President. You know, I was just telling the Attorney General here, that Senator Bond, oh, he makes me so sick. I just can't stand it. This is country. I'm sure your husband doesn't even feel that strongly about it. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Jack, you see the kind of problems we have here. The judge, I want you to meet Jack Whittier, the new assistant press secretary. How do you do? Mrs. Yeah. Captree. Oh, is he the Jewish young man that you hired to muzzle me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm afraid they can't find him. Now. Well, you look smart. <laughs> uh, I'm going to excuse myself now. We can leave that now, Mr. President. <laughs> oh, Mary. Hello, Jack. My, that Marion, such a lovely girl. Did the Washington Times really send you to Siberia? And the truth to her, Mr. Whittier? It, it was Hungary. What? Hungary? Uh, come on, Margie, I think it's time to go home, too. Oh, no, Elliot, honey. Well, why don't you run along like you always do? I'm sure this nice young man will see me home, won't you, honey? Sure. <laughs> I think your father's a cross between Abraham Lincoln and Jesus Christ. I'm engaged to be married, Jack. Already? To the psychiatrist guy? in the streets. You're just catering to revolution. You know what my husband says? Well, my husband has said many times that he actually prefers some of the Russian communists to get the liberal com <coughs> columnists in this country. What's the matter with my hands? Oh, my goodness, my land, Jack. You're just some terrible fool, aren't you? <laughs> Come over and say good evening to you, Jack. Oh, yeah. Come on, Seth. Why don't you uh, come in and talk to me sometime, Jack? We'll have a talk. All right, sure. Now, now, where were we? Where were we? We were saying. the damn thing myself. They didn't have a, didn't even have a station break. And this, this prejudiced, hostile critic is the commentator they put on right after 
the president's address about capturing. Well, I have the network's word. They're gonna bury this guy someplace. What do you mean? Give him the axe. Drop it. You're kidding. No. The president is fed up with this guy's facial expressions and gestures. We've got some friends there. It's the other networks I'm worried about. Here. Take a look at the speech the vice president's gonna read tomorrow night. We are going to war against the networks, Jack. We're going to win back the minds and hearts of the American people. And we have got to have Captree on that court to win the fight or we're in trouble. Hell, you understand. Hey, look, uh, Jack, there's a, there's a line in there I have trouble with, something about uh, the views of a small group. A small, how does small strike you? That's uh, a little soft. Uh, what would you call your... Uh, Compatriots of the press, if you want to be uh, you know, more flashy. Uh, let's see. Well, at their worst, a uh, coterie of impudent snobs. Or, <laughs> uh, no, I mean, really, I that's could good. find some. Uh, oh, that, that's great. We'll use it. You're kidding. No, it's just what we want. Look, the man told me to give you a draft of the speech and listen to your suggestions on it. Now I know why. I want you to spice it up a bit, huh? Well, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't use that line that I just suggested. Why not? That is exactly what we want. And not now. Yeah. My God. What's this country coming to? Mrs. Captree was just found dead. Guts ripped open. Everyone gets to see all of the White House, Jack. Uh, I'm supposed to meet with your father. It's really awful about Mrs. Captry, isn't it? And those shoes they found, that's weird. Shoes? Uh, uh, Marion, the president's waiting for me. Hasn't Judge Captree asked that his nomination be withdrawn because of this horrible tragedy? Well, I've asked him not to make that request. Frankly, I don't want his name withdrawn. The current permissive trends continue in this country. Uh, I'm worried about national anarchy. Andrea, you and I, we don't see eye to eye about most things. Never asked for your support, and... Uh, I've never received it. But if your paper could change its position, it would swing the nomination for him. I'll think about it, Mr. President. Good. I'm sorry to have kept you here so late. Oh, uh, by the way, I've asked the FCC to act as quickly as possible upon that application, <laughs> no matter what position you take. After all, I do owe you a favor. 
you hadn't banished Jack here to uh, Budapest, well, I wouldn't have a new assistant press secretary. Uh, good evening, well, darling. Uh, Mr. President, we didn't banish Jack. I begged him to stay here, didn't I, Jack? He requested the transfer for personal reasons. And he's welcome to come back anytime. Thank you. Jack? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I have to go, uh, Mr. President. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll leave with Jack. No, uh, uh, Jack, yeah, I mean, I'll stay here with you, Mr. President. Oh. Well, I'll think it over, Mr. President. I may surprise you. Oh. Thank you, Andrea. Good night. Good night. Good night, Jack. Good night. Good night. Jack. 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 I think I could be your friend, Jack. If you could just accept that. I'd like to be. You don't look well, Jack. Jack! Don't wait for me there, Marion. Wait for me in your room. Go away now! Jack! Jack! This is a werewolf. A weird wolf? A werewolf. Werewolf. Can you imagine what happened if the press gets a hold of that? I think the kid did himself. He looks like he could sever a jugular. Well, I don't think the kid did it. No, maybe he did do it. His obvious hatred of female authority figures, the expression he keeps using, mother. Well, it fits the pattern of the crimes. Prominent middle-aged women found near national monuments. Well, I don't think the kid did it. You're the whiz kid. You keep him from the press. All right, how are you? Uh, could you just tell me exactly what you saw? Look, we just saw this figure running away. A figure running away? Uh, was it a man or a woman? Or was it light or dark? Or was it light or dark? It was too dark to tell. The figure was dark, wasn't it? This figure was dark. All right, it was dark. It was very Debbie, dark. Debbie, Debbie, just be cool. A black man. And uh, it was a werewolf, you racist pig. Uh, just one minute, Look, don't boy. point your finger at me. Uh, who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. Take it easy. Look, we didn't do anything. Right Take now. it easy. Now, uh, could you, could you kids tell me uh, something more detail about this running figure? Uh, it was hairy. It walked funny. Uh-huh. The Panthers. How do you know it's the Panthers? I know it. Fuck them. Fuck them? Oh, wait a minute. What for? Narcotics. Oh, no, Long Wait a minute. Listen. That's just a nice human. Right? 
Uh, where are you kids staying? At the Chevrolet Hilton. The what? <laughs> Big bus on the mall. I'm just trying to help you. Uh, we're going to assign an FBI agent to keep you under surveillance, or else we're going to have to lock you up. Oh, wow, man. Yes, thank you. Hmm. Uh, can you stay with me? Right. Well, sir, do you have any leads? I mean, this is the second murder of a national figure in two days. Are you sure you have enough manpower to trap the killer? I mean, your boys seem to be busy with the networks. Let me tell you something. None of this would have happened if you people didn't support the very elements in our society that did this. Easy, Ron. Easy. Don't, don't let them get to you. How do you know that we support the elements when you don't have one single lead? We do have a suspect, and an indictment is imminent. Sir, I must insist that you stop talking to these people. Does imminent mean today, tomorrow, or indefinitely, sir? Imminent means tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. I'm sorry, sir. And won't you bleeding hearts be surprised? He doesn't have one indictment. He's too busy investigating us. You see? See? Jack! Jack! Indispensable to me. I need you now more than ever. It's about those shoes, sir. Shoes? Yeah. What shoes? Jack, would you please stop scratching the palms of your hands? It's just not manly. It's about the murder, sir. 
I don't believe that the Panthers did them. Well, there hasn't been a murder since we put a guard on that white boy. But the moon hasn't risen yet. Put a guard on me. Damn that mob out there. Hello, Jack. Well, what is the meaning of this? That speech you wrote last night was just great. The networks, they don't know what hit them. And it's all because of you. I want to assign you full time for writing speeches for the vice president. Mr. President, I think... I mean, I think I'm a... I think I'm a real one. The, uh, senator, what? The the speak up, God damn it! I can't hear you. The senator, Mr. President. Oh, uh, the senator. Threw it up for grabs. It was deflected as he threw it up. Bad. Hello, Jack. We all get disturbed at some time or another over some damn little thing. But I won't hear of you leaving the team until you've had a chat with Commander Sam. All right, Mr. President. Hello. Oh, Jones. Good to see you. Come in. Come in. Sometimes we see our conflicts in terms of political symbols. What's politics got to do with this? Oh, what does the Pentagon have to do with it? The Pentagon, yeah, gentlemen. The five-pointed star. We need to dinner now. Tom, take a will. Would you come to the bathroom with me? Later, sir. Please. Would you come with me to the bathroom? Later. Later, please. Yes, please. I want to show you something. And you have the feeling that you could have done something to stop it, coupled with guilt feelings for having murderous... Well, look at this. Guilt feelings for having murderous wishes towards these women for evil reasons, for both of which you want to be punished. Will you look at this? this in the palm of each of my victims. Jack, I want to help you. Well, then lock me up. Come over to the hospital tomorrow and we'll talk about it. But someone's going to die tonight! Will you two faggots shut up? Jack, I cannot help you unless you really want me to help you. Now, remember what I told you. Jack Whittier on the line for Cliff Napes. Cliff? Jack, fine. Little favor. I look, who would I talk to over there? 
to find out if someone from Budapest is a red dart. Maybe Chinese. G-I-S-E-L-L-E, Frenic, F-R-E-N-N-I-K. French Romanian, about 30. Uh, correspondent for the Budapest House Organ. Jack Whittier. A oh, high angel. Dr. Salmon? Yes, I did. And now he has me thinking that uh, wh whatever was bothering me was all in my mind. No, no. Oh, no, that's just between me and my analyst. cover up some political activities here. Assassinations. No. What? Secret Service man never publishes a book. Without you, you know, we want to uh, make it. You know what I mean, don't you? Make it, do it. 
capital steps. No, ma'am, we really want to take a walk. Uh, could you uh, stay behind, you know, like a uh, hundred feet? Georgetown, I think. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Hello, Mrs. Murphy. This is the werewolf of Washington. I know just what you want. Are they in, Debbie? No, no. I, uh, I left a message. She'll be back later. I said, uh, that we call them. Yeah, well, you ready to go? Look, come on, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, before I answer your questions, I would like to make a brief announcement. I have called this conference because of the mass hysteria and now tragedy surrounding a case that we're all very much aware of. <coughs> aware of. Aware of. Uh, today, I'm pleased to announce the indictment of... Uh, <coughs> secondly... The anarchist must be punished. And thirdly, I think he's missing a uh, we must he have Captree really on the Supreme Court. If he so threatens the people, they will stop at nothing. <coughs> yeah. Uh, questions? Mr. President. Mr. President. Uh, yes. uh, sir, is it true that the same black man you're holding for murder was himself brutally attacked last night? Uh, no, no, I, I, I didn't point at you. I was pointing at her. Her. Oh, Mr. President, the Vice President made a speech last night. I was wondering if you would comment yes, on I'm, it. Yes, I'm, I'm glad you asked that question. I would like to make one thing perfectly clear. The, the Vice President does not clear his speeches with me. Mr. <laughs> President.
Is the conference over? I don't know. No. I just had to leave. You know, I tried calling you last night after you hung up. Where were you? Did you? Where was I? <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but that uh, color that uh, the black kid uh, died. I don't care what it is you're going through, son. Commander Salmon assures me that your problems will not interfere with your job, and that's good enough for me. But I don't think Dr. Salmon... No, wait, 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 Jack, wait. Commander Salmon tells me that in, uh, in your case, or let's say that in, in this case, the existence of a werewolf has not been verified. So how could you be a werewolf? Hmm? Well, sir, uh, where's the ball? Where's the damn ball? Well, sir, I'll take off your shoes or get my gutter. And you, they do. You're going places, Jack, and I, I like to be part of it. There it is. Just up President, tonight, when the moon is full. Oh, Jack, tonight when the moon is full. Get out of here, some boy. Well, I swear, there's nothing wrong with four old handball. Oh, here, uh, listen, I, I want you to uh, take a ball. I want you to bowl a few frames with me. Go on, take a ball and get over the alley over there. Just, just pick it up and step over there. That's it. All right, now, Jack, I uh, want you to watch this. Yeah, yeah, watch me, Jack. Yes. Watch me. There you go. Searching, I'll strike out at my enemy swiftly and boldly. Maybe even tonight. Hey, boy. Jack. Yes. Throw the ball. Throw the ball. No, no, not like that. Here. Look, get down. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Yes, that's it. Yeah, that's it. I'll rip the ball back and when you get back, just let it sit down there. Right? That's it. Get the ball back there. All right. Get your knees down there. Now, when you get the ball back there, just let it whiz. Let it go. Okay. I run from the battle. I surf from it. Jack, will you throw the ball? Throw the ball down here. Yes, sir. I would too. Shoot, now I'd be aiming on a sheer recklessness. I'd miss the target completely. Oh, son, there are only a few of us left in the boat now. We've got to stick together and strengthen one another. I believe in you, Jack. I want you to believe in me. I promise to stand by you in this crisis, Jack, if you promise me that you'll stand by yourself. 
Jack, if you throw the ball, for Christ's sake. I can't, sir. Well, sure you can. I just throw it. No, I can't. I've been trying to tell you. Jack, what, what kind of a man are you, anyway? I've been trying to tell you, sir. The first thing happens, my fingers start to swell before the moon rises. And now my fingers are stuck on a ball. I can't get it off. Oh, Jack, but I have a meeting in the war room. Please. I can't go. Jack, look, Commander Salmon will be there. Everything will be fine. I'm stuck in a ball. Give me the ball. It's a ball. Nothing wrong with that ball. So these pilots load up their planes with bombs, fly them anywhere they want, drop them anywhere they want, without any authorization. They're so damn incorrigible. And then it drops in our lap. And we don't even hear about it because we read it in the paper. Well, I'm fed up with being a nice guy. Entire country is talking about sex murders and uh, wash and weird wolves. This is just what the paper's been waiting for. Did you see this uh, article in this morning's Times? Articles like that are appearing in every newspaper in every city in the country. I think we ought to crucify them. The networks, they can't even control their own people anymore. That circus of hippies outside the White House is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, now, wait a minute. I understand. Congress is threatening you with impeachment proceedings. You're confusing the issue. I am afraid of complete civil disorder. My recommendation is that we declare martial law, put a curfew on the whole city, and bring the army in on this. The army? Uh, I think we should uh, hold off on that. <clears throat> gentlemen, gentlemen, I'd like to come uh, directly to the point. I would like to be able to announce the withdrawal of all troops totally and immediately in Southeast Asia. But frankly, uh, I'm afraid of the uh, reaction from the lunatic right. Uh, General Derosha, or excuse me, General, uh, Admiral, Admiral Derosha, you are a politically astute tactician, well aware of the uh, tensions on the home front. Uh, what can I do to keep down casualties here and abroad while I speed up truth, uh, uh, troop withdrawals? Sir, if we can make just one last quick thrust into his sanctuaries, covered by a reactive, uh, protracted reconnaissance, uh, an active, uh, radiative uh, Radiation? reconnaissance. Uh, what did I miss? Uh, try to stay awake over there, Harry. Yes, sir. A protective, reactive reconnaissance. Uh, and okay, let's do it. Well, sir, uh, hmm? don't you think we should notify Congress? Notify Congress? What do you think, sir? Yeah. Now, uh, oh, God damn it, let's, well, let's just ignore them. Gentlemen, our credibility is at stake throughout the world. No, I will not be found wanting in this nuclear age. Just one more thing, gentlemen. About our plan to recognize Red China. Mr. President! Great theater, isn't it? He's uh, probably gone to the dispensary. <laughs>
I don't care. No, they don't have to be ballistically perfect. Well, can you make one by tonight? All right, then send me one. won't stop it. Maybe we can get it with a, a tank or a flamethrower. I don't want him destroyed under any circumstances. Don't you realize how important it is to our programs? You must issue the order that he be taken alive. It's uh, damn interesting, uh, Dr. Kiss, about the, the programs. Uh, uh, just, uh, just what the hell are our uh, scientific programs? Oh, I haven't any more time for this. I have my own work to attend to. No, the is pretty much the law. Word leaks out that there's a werewolf running around and we, we can't kill it. Well, just don't let it. Only you and I have seen this. Just keep all the people off the streets tonight and we'll handle it. I don't know about that. I mean, I'm up to my neck in this Asian policy stuff and then uh, two students out in Ohio. I respectfully submit, sir, that that is your problem. Kid, the guard in the Pentagon last night, 
And this is the same shape as the scar on my shoulder, with just one night to fill in the shape of the five-pointed star. Another murder tonight. At Watergate. My apartment. And there's no doubt about it, the shoes we found at the Pentagon are his. And the shirt. And the shirt. If I can just catch a plane tomorrow, I'll have a full month to find that old gypsy woman before the full moon rises again. And doctor, I know you, you can find a way to tell the president so that there won't be a search for me tonight or an investigation. You have to lock me up tonight. All right. I'm convinced. We'll lock you up. We can't let the press know about this. We can't let anybody know about it. Yeah. There's no doubt the press would seize on your personal tragedy to discredit the president. Well, frankly, I don't even want him to know. He's got enough on his mind already. Jack. I'm sorry about this. Could you tell her? Marion? All right, I'll, I'll tell her. I, I even think I might be able to get some rest tonight, knowing I'm chained up. Let's go. Time-lapse camera, Jack. Presumably it'll go on during the transformation. If you are what you say you are, we owe it to science to make a record of it. Oh, and the president wants a copy for his new library. Oh, Captain Salmon, would you turn on the television for me? I'd like to watch the president's address tonight. Over the I have to leave soon, Jack, but I'll be back after the address is over. Oh, I can't believe I have to go through another night of this agony. <sighs> Captain Salmon, you see that cane? The cane right by the television set. Pick it up. Pick it up. Then not hit me with it. Hit me with it. On the head. Kill me. I'm just a violent beast, and I'm better off dead. I'm better off dead. Jack, I'm better off dead. Jack, kill me, will you? Pull yourself together, Jack. Now, there's nothing to whimper about. Now, I guess this station will do. He's going to be on all the stations. I don't All right, Jack, I'll, I'll be back after the address. Jack. No one did anything to me, Marion. Will you get out of here? Are you insane? Who did this to you? Well, Marion, will you leave my chains alone? Did you do this to yourself? Oh, just leave them alone, Marion. God damn it! Will you get out of here? Out! Out! Will you please stop barking at me? <coughs> now, please stop that nonsense. It's not nonsense, Marion. Please. Will you leave before anything happens to you? No, I'm not going to leave. Of course not. In fact, I'm spending the night here. What? So that you can see this is all in your mind. Oh, Mary, get the hell out of here! Don't worry, I'll leave your chains on. What's that? 
Mary, just next to the TV, there's a gun there. You see it? All right, it's loaded. Now, if anything happens to me, if I change, that's the only thing that can keep me from killing someone else. Oh, Jack, stop it. Marion, if you insist on staying here, you can at least do that for me. Keep it with you at all times. Now, you can do that for me, can't you, Marion? You can at least do that. that the uh, press secretary is ill, and I need you there. Well, I guess it's my most important address ever. I'm announcing an arms limitation agreement with the Chinese foreign minister, and I, well, I just don't want the public to think that it's a cover for the curfew I'm imposing upon Washington tonight. Well, I just don't want to sound like the little boy who cried wolf. You know what I mean, Jack? What? Uh, Jack, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to insist. Yeah. Well, I've already sent a chopper over there to pick you up. Chopper. Uh, hell, you hell, know, hell, chopper. You know. Mr. President, isn't that your helicopter over there? They're all my helicopters, Jack. Oh. <laughs> uh, hey, Kelly. Kelly, you go. Well, <laughs> it's a special occasion, Mr. Prime Minister. It's the first time we've ever interrupted our nation's television broadcasting for an unannounced press conference. Isn't that right, Jack? I understand it comes at a very good time. Is it true that everybody in Washington is afraid of a werewolf? A werewolf? <laughs> no, no, I, I haven't heard that story. <laughs> oh, is that so? I read a report of it in one of the Hanoi papers. It sounded like a case of mass hysteria. <laughs> Well, it sounds like an amusing report, Mr. President. <laughs> Jack, would you look into that? Jack? <laughs> oh, where <are> we? <laughs> Hey, this is more. Uh, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, no, we are going to introduce you first to the nation. Uh, let's see, how, uh, oh, I didn't understand what this is. Let's see, how, how do you uh, how do you say that in the Chinese? Uh, oh, Wa Shen uh, Cheer Sound. Uh, we, you'll be the grabbers. Uh, you'll get the people, uh, uh, and and then then. That'll raise a certain amount of speculation, Mr. Prime Minister, and then, then, then I'll come on, and that'll give the people what they've been waiting for. Do you understand? Uh, I come on, I come on, Mr. Prime Minister. You're not listening, uh, uh, Mr. Prime Minister. Washen Chair Chowney. Do you understand, Mr. Prime Minister? I don't understand at all. Then I come on, and then I'll. I'm not talking about this. this. I'm talking about this. Hey, that this is not the thing I want. I don't want him here. What? I, 
Well, just leave Jack out of this. Will you just talk to me for a moment? What I'm talking about, Mr. Prime Minister... Let's oh, talk about this first. I don't want to see him here. Mr. Prime Minister, would you please pay attention here just a moment? Uh, Jack. Jack, will you pay attention to... God damn it! Uh, damn it, you uh, Is this a joke? Oh, is that what? Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. It's no joke, Mr. Prime Minister. No war, of course. Hey, Jack, please just help me out here a little bit, please. Um, Wa Shen Shear Sauni. Shear Sauni. Sauni, Sauni, you know. Sauni. Wa Shen Shear Sauni. What on the understand what you said, Jack? Jack. But I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'll, I'll get it to that. Jack, Jack, would you just pay a little attention over here, Jack? No, Jack! This is hijack! Hijack! No, no, hijack. no, 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 hijack, Mr. Prime Minister. No, no, the hijack. Washen Shirshani. You'll go before the nation. No more Jesau, no more Jesau. I go! You don't want to go to Taiwan. I go! I go! No, no, don't get off here. No, no, don't get off here. We have to land, sir. Land, land. Uh, Jack, how do you say land? Uh, Jack, will you please... Try to pay some attention over here. Uh, Mr. President, after we announce you... Shaq, you're right. It is you. Well, I just want to make one thing perfectly clear. What is that? It's just Sony. Sony. What is that? It's just Sony.
was with you. No, 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 no. My mind, it's playing tricks on me. Listen, we'll, we'll give him a, uh, a hero's burial. He became, he came between a sniper's bullet and the president's daughter. Can we trace this gun, find out who the owner is? No, no, bury it, bury it, bury it with last year's nerve gas. The president's going to be all right. He just has a little bite on the neck. Thank God. Help! Tell Marion uh, her father's going to be all never mind. Well, you guys won't have Jack Whittier to kick around anymore. Fellow Americans, this is your president speaking to you from the White House. First, I want to thank you for your letters and telegrams offering me your best wishes during my recent illness. Secondly, I know I can count on your support as I lash out against the enemies of America, both in the press as well as the Senate, 
Republicans as well as Democrats, white as well as black, who have circulated the vicious rumors holding members of my administration responsible for the recent and tragic deaths of just a few of my political uh, opponents. At night, I roam the silent, empty corridors of this great house, wrestling with my conscience. And I've come to this conclusion. If I'm to prevent our enemies from destroying, not me, but the very office of the presidency, I must have your support. And so, 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 and